This video is going to show you the basics of using a drill, drill safety, and how to countersink with a drill. To find out how to make the rest of the knob organizer project and more really cool stuff, check out the April-May 2015 issue of Kiki Magazine. You can find Kiki at most retail bookstores and at kikimag.com. Power tools can seem really scary, and if used incorrectly, they can be very dangerous. But if you learn about the correct way to use power tools, they can be a great asset. Make sure you always consult an adult before using power tools or any other potentially dangerous activity. It's also a good idea to get in the habit of wearing protective glasses when working with any power tools. Let's go over the parts of the drill. The chuck is what holds the drill bit in place. The reverse switch changes the direction that the drill spins. When drilling, you want the drill to spin clockwise. The harder you squeeze the trigger, the faster the drill spins. That's what it means by pressure sensitive. So start by squeezing gently until you are comfortable with going faster. There are different types of clamps. Use any clamp that you have access to. Just make sure that you securely clamp your piece of wood so that it is really tight against the table and that the area that you want to drill is far away from the table or anything else that the drill could damage. Let's talk about how to hold a drill. You hold a drill like you would a glue gun or squirt gun so that your dominant hand is holding the drill but the drill bit is facing away from your body or anything else that it could potentially damage. Be very careful not to squeeze the trigger until you are ready. Every drill is different, so yours might behave differently than the one in this video. So be very careful to get to know your drill before using it. To drill, place the drill over the marked area that you would like a hole. Hold the drill steady and keep your hands and hair and anything else besides what you want to drill away from the moving parts of any power tool. Lightly squeeze the trigger and push on the drill to make the hole. Go faster when you start to feel more comfortable. Pull the drill back out while the drill bit is still spinning. Now we need to switch the drill bits. Some drills have a key to release the drill bit. For this drill, I'm going to twist the chuck to the left to loosen the drill bit. The next drill bit that I'm using is a lot larger, so I have to keep twisting and loosening until I can fit the other drill bit in there. Once that drill bit is in, then I twist the chuck to the right as tight as I can to secure the drill bit in place. Now, flip your board to the back and clamp it down tightly again. Place the new drill bit over the previously drilled hole and lightly press the trigger. This time, you only want to drill halfway through the hole, so we want to go slowly and carefully. You can pause and check the drilled hole a few times, making sure that you don't go too far. Countersinking is for hiding bulky hardware so that a flat surface can still lay flat. Hey, hit the subscribe button under this video so you don't miss more cool Kiki videos like this one. I put links to our website and other awesome Kiki Magazine sites below, like Tumblr and Instagram. So don't forget to check those out also. Thanks for watching and have a great day.